Hey guys, so this is a video review of the Anchor uh, Rove Viva. Um, it is a <clears throat> car um, lighter socket charging um, Alexa. So there I kind of just triggered it. Um, it does need the app to be running. Um, but you can have it running in the background, so you don't have to keep your phone on it the whole time. But if you do close the app, um, it will not get, you know, commands. So the kind of interesting things you can do with this that you can't do with the, you know, regular Echoes that are um, in your houses are uh, things like Alexa. Directions to the closest Tim Hortons. Please tap the notification from the Rove Viva app to get directions. And if you were to see that, there would have been a notification that comes down from the Rove Viva app. It kind of translates what you said to her and then pushes it over into, um, you know, Android, Google Navigation, or um, Apple Maps. And then we'll navigate you there, which is great. Um, it has some other things that um, other Alexas kind of don't do, kind of more geared towards a car. Um, over the air firm, uh, firmware updates where it'll um, the app will tell you um, what bugs it's fixing. Firmware updates maybe take about um, 10 minutes. I uh, need to keep the, um, the car running obviously. It has two um, 2.1 amp um, USBs on the side, which are kind of hard. You know, um, I've seen a lot of videos out there where um, you can't really keep this device pointed down like they want you to, like if the mic is, is turned the other way, because it's kind of in the way of um, stuff from below. In my case, it's an aux port or a Bluetooth aux port, um, but um, in other cars and other video reviews, I've seen kind of the same thing. Um, overall, great device so far. Um, you know, in Canada here, Alexa's kind of new. But you can do things like um, <clears throat> um, stream music through the Amazon Music right from uh, just saying whatever song you want. So if I say, Alexa, play Walk Off the Earth. Shuffling songs by Walk Off the Earth. Another app is using your sound. Open the Rogue Viva app to get your music back. Right, it's just basically telling me I'm recording a... A video so I can't play the song but you know if I wasn't it would just play the song just fine um, if you have a prime membership uh, Amazon music both in the US and Canada is free you know obviously you can do your smart home stuff like Alexa change basement lamp 3 to red okay so in my basement I have some Philips hue lights you know I can turn them on and off um, you know, turn on your sprinklers. Uh, the one that I mainly use it for when I'm driving is um, turning, uh, opening and closing my garage door with my voice when I'm about maybe two kilometers away from the house. But, you know, so far so good. It, it hears you very, very well. A lot of these third-party Alexa devices don't have the greatest um, microphones built in compared to the um, first-party Echo uh, units. Um, but uh, this is a great um, device for the price. It's now available in Canada. It just got on Amazon.ca. It's $64, and in the U.S. I think it's uh, $59. Um, so you know, pretty much just a conversion of the 1.3. But uh, yeah, great device. You can um, press this if you need to, um, you know, mute it when you're. Um, driving um, or when you're on a call you can use it the, the other thing is to make calls so I can say um, mm -hmm. Alexa call so-and-so and it would call um, and uh, for the last part of this video I'm just going to show you the the UI and the interface like I said you don't have to be using it, Who do you it want to call? it's kind of just for some settings but you do need to keep the app in the background because it uses the app as a tethered hotspot in order to get what contact or number do you want to call in order to get Alexa out to the cloud right so yeah great device five star loving this um, way of adding um, an echo Sorry, to your car I'm having trouble understanding that's because I'm I'm talking <laughs> but uh, yeah so far so good and um, yeah loving it great product anchor